Good morning. This, this morning's Bible study is right out of Colossians chapter 1, verse 15. And basically we're talking about how Jesus is the center of all things. And this book was written by, by Paul. And it begins like this. The Son is the image, so referring to Jesus, the Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. So he was created first before anything else was. For by him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether they were kings, lords, rulers, or powers. All things have been created through him and for him. So isn't that something? Uh, he himself exists before anything else did, and he holds all things together. Isn't that great? That's awesome. He is also the head of the body. Now it's referring to the church, which is the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. So he was the first resurrected from the dead, so that he himself might have first place in everything. So that's why Jesus was resur resurrected from the dead, not only to be first in everything according to God's will, but also uh, for uh, testament of the fulfillment of the Old Testament. And on and on and on. We could preach that all day. For God was pleased to have all of the divine essence inhabit him. So he's perfect and God was very pleased. And this is my son who which I am well pleased. That's scripture, right? Through the son, God also reconciled all things to himself, whether things on earth or things in heaven, whereby making peace through the blood of his cross. That's what we've been talking about. You who were once alienated with the hostile attitude doing evil he has now reconciled so he's basically brought your sins to check by the death of his physical body so he died for our sins so that he may present you you as which who repent holy blameless and without fault before him the father when you go before judgment however you must remain firmly established and steadfast in your faith you got to stay true to the word of god in your faith believing in, in the father and the christ and all things you do without being moved from the hope of the gospel that you heard so knowing the gospel knowing the word of god you stay firm in the word of god which has been proclaimed to every creature under the heavens and of which i paul who wrote this book by the way have become a servant so paul was a servant Father, Lord, we just thank you for, be the, for being not only the center of God, but also the center of our lives, and that your word keeps us together. You keep all things together in everything we do. And Lord, we thank you that you reconciled our sins by dying on the cross and being resurrected, being a testament to God, and being well-pleased in the way you've served your Father, uh, so that we may be judged clear-free through you, the the anointing of your blood over us, the covering that you've provided us so that we may be blameless before judgment. Father, we thank you for the Son. We thank you that you sent him to die for our sins and he freely gave himself. And Lord, we thank you. Forgive us of our sins if there's anything in our hearts right now. Lord, give us this day, uh, give us this bread that we just ate so we can fully understand and comprehend how magnificent you are and how holy the truth of the word and how how great you are we ask these things in jesus name amen